Dandy Warhols, get off on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Steve Merchant. Hello. It's five past two on the day that Carl, our producer, found out that he had an E in history, GCSE, and nothing else because he didn't actually register. I can't believe he registered for that. I don't know. I didn't. That's Someone it, else didn't. put you in. They, they, they can't have put you in because you were away. They probably said, oh, you know, they didn't. You didn't register in that. Listen, obviously, you're feeling a little bit melancholy, melancholy, because it's, you know, it's, it's like, it's like you're hearing it for the first time, so it's like you're 16 again. But, you, it was to be expected. But no, listen, I, I it doesn't matter. It actually doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't. But listen, but listen, take it again. Take it again. For your, just, just, is there, is there a history teacher listening? Um, what's the number? Oh seven, oh eight seven hundred, eight hundred one two three. They oh. can tell us the syllabus this year. One two three four, is it? Yeah. Oh, sorry, what is it? Oh eight seven hundred. And I did. I got. I've got maths. Uh, uh, oh eight seven hundred eight hundred one two three, three four. four. Mine's more laziness that I couldn't be able to say that last digit. Yeah. Yeah. Really, I've done the. the yeah, the, most of the work. Yeah, let's not. Let, if we get onto your problem, <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to be. It's a whole other show. It doesn't matter really, because like you say, right? I've done all right for myself. Yeah. It's that. It's that old thing of like um, when you get older. If you find out that your dad's not your dad, it's like it doesn't matter. He was a dad to me. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. So... Are you saying Mr. Nuttall wasn't your real teacher? <laughs> <laughs> Give out the number again, Rick, what are we after? Um, 08700 800 1234. Is no there a history one, teacher one, out there that may know how we can... Is he too late to register this time? What's the syllabus this year? It? What's the syllabus this year? Do we have to pay for it? And does he want to earn, like, <laughs> 25 quid cash in hand to give Carl a couple of lessons? I'll stump that up. Take it, yeah? Be great. Be fantastic. They probably won't want to do it, though. We'll film thing, it. It'll it? be a documentary on choice. <laughs> 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 Heat magazine be right behind it. There'll be, you know, little clues. We could have a little question and answer, little quizzes. You know what I mean? Be Rick, great. before we play the next record, I've just been looking through the XFM gig guide, and I just wanted to let you know that, uh, at Spitz this evening, Commercial Street E1, doors at 8 o'clock, <laughs> Gut Bucket are playing. <laughs> So, no, just a lot of people, listeners will probably want to know that. <laughs> I don't want anyone to miss out on the Gut Bucket gig at Spitz tonight, coming to Street E1. <laughs> That's a good plug for the, uh, the Gut Bucket boys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. Now, Steve just played one of the most beautiful records. I mean, that, uh, uh, so, uh, I've got up the ante here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna play another Jimmy Webb track. I played it off Ten Easy Pieces, uh, last week, and I have played this track before, but a different version. You all know it, um, obviously better by Glenn Campbell. He wrote a lot of songs for Glenn Campbell. And this is Galveston, and this is absolutely beautiful. Jimmy Webb there and, uh, Galveston. See, and during that, Carl said, what's this about? Didn't ya? See, it's th it's things you're interested in, you see? If only that you that inquisitive when the Tudors and Stuarts came up, you'd have, you'd have a C or see, a B. you wouldn't even do Stuarts. Didn't ya? It's just Tudors. Oh, they're the worst, aren't they? Stuarts, I've got a lot of time for. The Tudors can, you know what I mean? Listen, right. As you know, I uh, lent Carl, part of his education, his historical <laughs> education, I lent Carl, um, Gladiator, the movie on DVD, which he watched on his PlayStation 2, and, uh, Rasputin. Do you know last week when you gave me this, did you know my result for history? No. That's weird, isn't it? Yep. Now, uh, right, okay, it's the film review. Carl, you just, just tell it from the heart, tell us what you thought about the film, what you thought the- Can I just ask, is this the first time you'd seen Gladiator? You'd never seen it before? No. Okay. And what were your thoughts? Okay. The film of you. Gladiator. Um. So alright. Noth nothing great. Uh. It's like. It's like an old. Um. Sort of an old version of Rocky done in the olden days, really. Right. A bloke fighting other people. Sure. Um. How, how sort of well known is the story? Do you reckon people know the, the basics? Well, just very, very quickly, just do right, the plot. Quickly, there's a guy called Max. Um, Maximus, yeah. Yeah. There's Caesar, and there's Caesar's kid, and uh, Max goes to war, sort of wins it, comes back. Uh, Caesar says, "You're good at what you do. Me, I wish my son was as good as you. Uh, so I want you to be in charge when I die." His kid finds out. Bit annoyed about it, kills his dad because he don't want anyone to hear that he said that he wants him to be in charge. Yeah. So his kid gets in charge and thinks, "I'll show you. You're not going to be a king. I am. You're going to be a slave or something." And then 
Next thing you see is- my, Sorry, can I just stop there? My only thought is the film's three hours long, so <laughs> maybe we should we, go through we, the whole plot, we, right? We've done the first ten minutes, but yeah. go on. So yeah, he's a slave and then- Yeah, but then, that, that, that was an interesting bit that I thought, right? I mean, I was watching this with a girlfriend, she was already annoyed because she wanted to watch Friends on E4. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah. so, it was a good episode as well this week. Was it? Yeah. Don't tell her that. Okay. Right, so, um, <sighs> so she, so she was annoyed and she said, come on then, put it on. <laughs> and I got it wrong straight away because it says on the back, 149, so I thought that was an hour and 49 minutes. It turned <laughs> out it was 149. No, I thought it was one hour 49. Yeah. But it was 149 minutes. Sure. So it, it overran anyway. By 40 minutes. Yeah. So anyway, the interesting bit was where he was going across the desert on a horse. And I think to show you how long he'd been going across the desert on his horse, he's shown you a shot of the horse's knees and they were bleeding. <laughs> and I just wondered whether that's what horses do if they run for a long time. Can, do you know? I don't. Good. Right, so anyway, so he goes on, get, it keeps going on like this, um, he's a slave and then he has a fight at the end with the Caesar's kid and he kills him. And that, that's how it ended. Okay, good. What did you think of it? Just generally, what what bits? What do you think was wrong with it? Right. Well, I've read up on it, and there's already a, a fact that is wrong. Right. Max, no, Caesar's kid. He didn't actually kill his dad. His dad died of a natural death. Right. In real life, you mean? In, yeah. Okay. And um, what's what's Caesar's kid's name? C comedian or something. Comedian. I think it's comedian. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the name comes from. The, the, when you, you know, a funny person is called a comedian. He didn't actually get killed in real life by Max. No. He died by his sister poisoning him, and um, and he didn't. Die. No, no. Are no. you saying? Are you saying that this is not a historical document? It's it's oh, it's wrong. All over the place. Yeah. Well, well in next terms week, of well, next week, I'm giving you Braveheart, and that is actually true. That is actually that, that is that is. Factually no, accurate. I can't handle it. It is, it is. It was a little Listen, Australian fella that helped him out. Just for people who watched it, you know on. that the, the, um, uh, the, the guy, Caesar's kid. Yeah. He died, uh, his sister tried to poison him, that didn't work. And apparently he was a gay fella. <laughs> and his boyfriend, who was a wrestler, strangled him. That's- well, Where did you thought. get this information? On the internet. I thought I'd look it up to see how much of it I actually got right. Yes. <laughs> And that's what I read. Okay, so, uh, out of ten? <sighs> Five. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's no good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get it out. And what, it's annoying the way it says, like, you know, this film's got to be seen at the cinema, because I saw it at home, and I don't think I missed out on anything. Very good point. I think that's the, probably the point they're making, but yours is, yours is valid too. We'll play a record, and after that, I'm going to ask you about Rasputin, the mad monk. Travis and Singh. I like that. That's all right. It's a bit, it's a bit easy. It's not their best. I like their earlier stuff a little bit better, you know. But what I don't like is them throwing around mollusks. I don't like it when that poor little octopus gets flung around. I know it's dead, but there's something, there's a certain lack of respect for the, for the mollusk, for the, mini. for the squid and yeah. octopi. For I can see uh, when I used to go to Wales for my holidays. They mm -hmm. used to get washed up on the beach, and people used to go over them on the motorbikes. <laughs> And they were ch cheering and stuff, and it's just like, do you, do you realise what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. sick, isn't it? But anyway, uh, Gladiator, just was going to add on the end of that, um, if you're into that sort of film, Jason and the Argonauts is probably a better bet. <laughs> is that factually a a accurate? Did you look that up a lot? Did, did, did skeletons actually come out of the ground and fight? Yeah. I don't know, but it's a more enjoyable film. Okay. Okay. It's shorter.